Welcome to episode number 128 of the BEBC BS podcast. It's been a couple of weeks, fellas. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, and who's, who is, that makes no <laughs> sense. <laughs> who, well, who, 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 is, who is Makai who Harris? Is, who is? Makai Harris? Yeah. Is that what the Dallas Morning News? Dallas Morning News. Had Alan running back, Makai Harris, accounted for 158 total yards. Oh, my gosh. Uh, well, see, when you haven't right. been around in a while, people just start I changing know. your name. Yeah. you you got to get people about more used to your name. Yeah. Uh, and well, it, welcome back, And if you, and if you don't show up, uh, yeah. your seat gets taken. Yeah. yeah. And we, we filled Nolan's seat with Justin. Justin, welcome. With, with no, no problem. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you guys for having me. <laughs> Justin Hartsock yeah. is yes. filling in for Nolan today, which... Isn't hard to do. No, <laughs> we, just, we just have to have him say, hey, "Kitty, kitty, kitty, kitty." Yeah. So, welcome to the show. Thank you. Justin reached out and said he'd like to come sit in on a podcast, and we welcome anybody. We do. Well, uh, let's back that up. <laughs> we beep, welcome people beep. to ask if they'd like yeah. to come sit in. We've had people sit in before. And yep. We're going to have some guests and some other people coming up here. We as, are. As Football winds in, down in and fact, basketball winds up. This week, yeah, I think we're going to have a special guest. He said he'd come on. He couldn't do it this morning, but we're going to try to do a Zoom call and we'll we'll tape it and then put it out yep. this week. You won't want to miss it because I think it'll be very good. I'm mm-hmm. just going to let it go at that in case it doesn't happen. I don't want to right announce it because because some like, people, some guests have actual work they have to do. They're very busy. <laughs> well, Justin's got a job. Yeah. Well, yeah, but... Justin, why don't you tell everybody what your job is? Yeah, so uh, I currently, uh, right now, I work at Cottonwood Creek Church. I'm part of the facilities team there, so I've been working there over two and a half years now, kind of coming up on three years. So what I do at our church is I'm the guy who's taking out the trash every night. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Some days are good, some days are bad. I just do a lot of setups for a lot of the events we have at our church, so uh, I've really enjoyed that job. There's a great group of people that we've been working there, and... uh, It's so fun working there, so uh, it's an easy job to balance work life, school life, and just personal life. you got school, so you're in school? Yes, I'm in school at Collin College here and uh, studying cybersecurity. Awesome. Oh, we That's need the awesome. man out here to secure all this. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we're not we're talking some big events, too. You had Tim Hawkins the other yes, night? Yes, we had Tim Hawkins. came again. In fact, he went to work he went back last after night. the game. After the game. Oh, you're a really good yeah. man. Yeah, tear I down. back last night, awesome. tear it down, set up for the next day. Yeah. yeah we got some big events coming up to finish up 2024. Go God. Go. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. First well, screen. He's well, our MVP. Yeah. He's well, our eternal MVP. That, that yeah. was yeah. kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't heard anybody say that recently. <laughs> well, and you, you are an Allen High School graduate. Yes. Graduated in 2021. Yep. Uh, General Booty was quarterback there. GB. Yeah. GB. General Booty. And there's a lot of good, good players guy. there. I know a lot good of the guy. guys from the team there. That was a that was a great season. That, that was time. fun. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, During I, my time in high school was fun. I had <laughs> communication with Booty a couple of weeks ago when they they played Texas. Yeah. You know, and he had a rough night, which most people do these days against Texas. But <laughs> yeah, he's it's, he's it's, always been one of our favorites. It's grown up football, yeah. ain't it? Yeah. He's. <laughs> He's, he's funny. He's a funny kid. We love him. Mm-hmm. So anyhow, Justin, thanks for sitting in. Thank you. I told Justin when I got to the game last night when I knew he was coming, I said, all right. I said, you got to pay attention tonight because you got to have something to say. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. So, and there's a lot to talk about. We actually have uh, two games to talk about. We didn't have a podcast last week, so we'll go back and hit Princeton in just a second. Briefly. But let me get, yeah, briefly. Let me get, I'm sorry, the dogs are bothering me. Um... I got to get the history. Yep. Uh, game number 128 in the history of Allen Allen football, football is somewhere. I got to find it. Here it is. We skip 127? Well, we need to do 127 too. You're right. Thanks for reminding me of that. 1973, opening game of the year. District 16-1A. Oh, my God. Woo! Allen, of course, this is a non-district game, uh, plays the Frisco at that time. Raccoons. <laughs> That's not what it was. Right, it was the trash I know, pandas. But but it was a short <laughs> trash pandas. Oh, trash pandas. That's it. That's it. it was the Frisco Coons at that time. We'll yes. just be honest. What it the was. The fighting Coons. Coons. And they lose thirty nine to thirteen. Oh. Wow. Wow. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> what a way to start the year. Next week though, 
Here's a great one for you. They travel to White Wright. Can you imagine Alan playing White Wright now? Man, that was that was farm field football, man. You think so? Yeah. And in the battle of field goals, Allen wins that game nine six to six. To three. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> or it could have been a touchdown and a safety, but either way, and it could yeah. have been a touchdown with a mixed <laughs> extra point. I'm gonna guess field goals. So they moved to one and one on the year. So there you go, nineteen seventy three. Ooh, it's a good year. Fun year. The 127th victory. Oh, my gosh. 1983 in District 74A. Ooh, we moved up to 4A. Moving on up. Uh, 127th victory was against North Dallas. North mm-hmm. Dallas Bulldogs? I don't know what they are. Is that what they are? Yeah. They. Well, my dad went to high school. Really? Isn't that where uh, Kevin Murray went to high school? Yes, yeah. he did play at North yeah. Dallas. They beat North Dallas 28-9 to to move to 6-0 and on the year. Ooh. What year was that? 1970, no, 1983. 83. 83. Yeah. And that was a district game. Yeah. They played yeah. McKinney the week yeah. before, North Dallas. Kevin would have uh, Kevin would have graduated before then. Here you go. You're going to love this. Night, and uh, the next week, the 128th victory in the history of Allen Eagle football. The following week, they played Dallas Adamson. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, they were going a long way. Yeah, a, long way a, lot, a lot more traveling back then. 21 to nothing. So that is their one to fourth shutout in six games that year. That's Pretty awesome. good defense. You hear that, Hargis? Four shutouts in six <laughs> games. <laughs> oh, a shot across the bow. Boom. Who's your friend? <laughs> Who's your friend? We love Marcus. He loves us, and we can do stuff like that. Oh. We, can, we, we, can, we can. He doesn't listen to this podcast. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> then again, he might. You know, it's funny. I was, I was telling I said, I told Cody last night. I told James at dinner, too. I got middle of the week this week. I get a text from Hargis. He goes, what's the all-time record? the score? No. What's the all-time record between Allen and South Lake? I'm like, <laughs> Dude, you're a South Lake guy. You should know that off the top of your head. So I had to give him that. It's info. not not good in Allen's favor, no, it's but not. but it was a uh, it was interesting. So and yeah. even and none yeah, of the games so we've won have been in the playoffs. Yeah, back to back them. Oh, yeah, I like that. Them. That was fun. and and shut out. Yeah, that was nice. Okay, so last Friday night at home against the, Princeton, the Princeton Panthers rolled into town. The Princeton Panthers. Let me have them. And Allen proceeded to roll them right back out. <laughs> Ouch. I don't think anything that happened that night was unexpected. No. 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 You know, Princeton moved up from 5A. Mm-hmm. They had, what, 45 players on their team. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was interesting because we had talked to Coach before. They were a very pass-heavy team. In fact, their quarterback up until the week he was before, holding all was, sorts of records. He was leading the area in passing yards. And that's, that, that that was really going to be the first test for Allen on a team that really drew the ball a lot. Mm-hmm. And I would say they ended up, you know, passing that test pretty well. Mm-hmm. Marcus Flowers was their quarterback. He, he was 22 of 42, so just over 50%. 250 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, and, a you know, 250 yards. <laughs> Isn't a whole lot, especially when you can only run for 11 yards. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they kind of had to pass, and it, it, it became a different animal. It's good for Allen, though, to face a team that, that slung the ball around. Right. So it's going to prepare them for, down the road for sure. But, yeah, they only had 261 total yards, you know, three touchdowns, you know, one of them in the fourth quarter. So, And, and Allen, 11 touchdowns, you know. It's like I don't think we punted. Remember, it gets fading no, here. We didn't. Well, I don't think no. we punted last week. No. And, and I don't even think we had a fourth down. I think it was just yeah. score, 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 score. Two extra points missed. One one got blocked. I'm not going to put that on Ethan. That was on a blocking issue. And then one by the backup kicker. Hit the, hole. Hit the upright. Doink. Doinked it. Yeah. He doinked it. I love that word. Yep. Would have been 80. That's extreme precision there. He was aiming for that. Would have been 80. Well, he needs to aim just on the inner side of it so the ball goes through. Oh, okay. He was trying to use geometry, but he <laughs> he was too precise. Oh, so that's what Pythagoras was talking about. <laughs> ah. Pythagoras. <laughs> when was the last time you used Pythagoras' theorem in anything you've done in life? Oh, I don't know. No. Grocery shopping. <laughs> 
if I go down this aisle, I can get to the detergent <laughs> quicker because oh, the no. hypotenuse of the <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, What'd you just call me? Uh, Pythagoras. Did you call me a hippopotamus? You can't call me. A... <laughs> unbelievable. And also, we haven't been able to confirm this yet, and we did not reach out to the proper people this week to find out. But if I the, know if the record, the kick. I know Miss Bowman will will let me know because she always does when we say things right or wrong, but Ethan kicked a 55-yard field goal, which James tweeted out this week for anybody yep. that missed it, which that might was have been an awesome school kick. record. Yep. Thank you, Coach, for letting him kick it. Um, that would have been hard to have, uh, get done in other times. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it's 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 a good nice. chance to figure out what your, rank, what your kicker's range yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. And by golly, he cleared it with a couple yeah. yards to spare. The answer is long. Yeah. yeah. You, you never know when that might be a game winner that you need. That's yeah, right. Absolutely. And That's right. So, good for Ethan. The crowd went crazy. The boys went crazy. Oh, that was yeah. really cool. Oh, yeah. Thought we were going to get a penalty with all the kids on the field. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> was out there. Um, everybody, it, it's hard to look at that and say who didn't have a good night. You yeah. Know, Brady was 9 of 11, 153 yards, two touchdowns in limited action. He came out after the first drive in the second half. Yep. Um, and I think what uh, didn't uh, – was it Major Miller and Trey Robinson? No, it was Major Miller and Camden Clark that had picks yes. last week. Uh, Brett Holloway. Come on, baby. Come on. My okay, dog, I'm coming. My, my dog's at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Jim. Come on, baby. Push it open. You can do it. All right, back to the podcast. Yeah. yeah. Brett Holloway rushes for 172 yards. Wow. He was our offensive player of the – but the game uh, last week, he had a really good game. Um, he also had two catches. Uh, everybody, you know, Donnell had two touchdown catches. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it was a score of Palooza. Yeah. yeah. And we had a little thug over on the other side that used to play for Allen. Got that a little handsy with that the, was, with that the was mouthpiece. A, that and, was pretty and, nasty. Yeah. You yeah. know, what, yeah. what an attitude. You see those kids occasionally, you know. It's, yeah. It's, it's just, it's, it's kind of a shame. You know, and and so he he took his mouthpiece, threw it out, and and then grabbed his towel, and of course Brett was grabbing his towel back from him, and the ref sees that, and as he throws a flag, throws it back at it, and he throws a flag on him. Yep. Yeah. Well, Says, yeah. oh yeah, you know, second last person's always going to get caught, caught, and coach was going off on the ref. He was taking his stuff that the guy stole back. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's all right. Uh, just there is no. There's no true justice, right? You just, just dialed, beat them the, dialed up the whoop butt. That's exactly, exactly Well, and they right. did. You know, and they did exactly what, what we can say it. I don't know if the coach would say it. What the expectation was was exactly what happened. Now, yeah. that was a school record for points, 78. Previous record being 77 against Plano West in 2011. <laughs> so it was kind of ironic we had Plano West this week. Yeah. Um, but yeah, seventy-eight Almost, points. almost pulled the same thing. Had, uh, yeah. Yeah. Could have shattered should, that record. Yeah. Should have. Yeah, they, they could they, have. They very easily could have. Cody was looking for ninety last night. <laughs> he kept saying, "I want ninety. I want 90. <laughs> Give me blood. That would have been a lot. But um, yeah, Plano West football is just at a really strange point. L- uh, counted what forty-nine players suited up and just hardly any fans in the stands. Uh, just. <laughs> There were two that I know of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, two Allen, uh, Allen. Yeah, they looked lonely over there too. Well, and, and I'm sure there were some Allen uh, band, you know, parents, et cetera, over on the other side because Allen always plays to the home side, especially when we're visitors. Some other teams don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> some other teams, which we everybody knows, yeah, we won't even get into that. Yeah. No kitty cats. <laughs> So Allen um, had Plano West this week. Ends up winning sixty-three to fourteen in what ended up being, in my mind, and I, I turned to my wife and I said, "I at right before halftime, and I said, I'm, I'm just bored." How, how did you turn to your wife when she had her mouth looking at my wife talking? The whole I turned time. to her. I didn't I mean, say she was looking. I, she, I didn't say she was looking at me. I just said they're, I turned to her. They're looking. Oh, she, <laughs> She talked to you from her, head, back her head. head. Yeah, we need to have that little uh, thing that drops down the the get smart cone of silence. 
Yeah. Maxwell? Well, my wife is an educator, so I know she has eyes in the back of her head, so she yeah. she could see what was going on. But yeah, you're right. They had a good catch-up time. Yeah, they should have sat down in front of us to where we could all move in <laughs> together. <laughs> yeah, Kamish. But anyhow. Uh, Allen wins 63-14. We'll talk to Coach Wig about the last two weeks here. Um, just get his thoughts. I mean, this was a good tune-up. They've had, you know, two really good weeks what I would call expected weeks before Prosper rolls in this week. And that I think anybody who's an Allen Eagle fan, when you looked at the schedule this year, that's the game you circle. Right. Yeah. And I, you know, I think uh, last night was a fluke, but we better have some fan fans out this next week, especially the student section. Yeah. You know, it's it's tough. School's out. Uh, Yeah. A lot of people are gone. Um, but, yeah, I think this week, I think it'll be packed. It'll be interesting to see what oh, Prosper yeah. brings. You yeah. know, I imagine they'll bring a pretty good crowd. Yeah. Probably so. Have a good student section. Got to shut them down pretty quick. It's an important game for Prosper. Yeah. Well, I say that. You know, they're they're probably going to be the D2 rep. Okay, so what's the over-under for them uh, chanting overrated? To us? Yeah. <laughs> well, first quarter or second quarter? What do, what do you think? It'll be after the first touchdown they score. Exactly. If, if they get ahead. The minute they get ahead, they'll they'll say it. Yeah, it's the most cursed champ. It is. You just don't do that. No, it's okay. No. It, it hasn't bodes well for most people that say no, that and turn true. around and get their butts kicked. It's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, uh, if it makes them feel better, I guess they're. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> Allen generates 559 total yards last night. 328 passing. Um, Brady had a. We talked about Brady at halftime. Um, he was he was he was eight of eleven at halftime for two hundred and three yards. He was throwing the most beautiful arc on the ball, and it's almost like having to slow down a little bit, you know, and and be better to your physical self. It just did him a world of, of good. I don't know. He he was just he, he was looks on. very comfortable back there. <laughs> he had all the time in the world, and then you look at their quarterback, and we were in on them just the oh, moment the ball was snapped. It was a lot. It was a tough night. It was, yeah, he tough was night. really relaxed. I yeah. thought so, and I think he's he's I, except I told, for when he, you know, bent over, ran and walked over to the sidelines as best he could. <laughs> yeah, some people thought he, he hurt his hand. He, but he played better. the first series of the third quarter, um, and he got hit hit, hit really, as really, he released the ball really hard. Yeah. The, okay, uh, Donnell, you go long. <laughs> I don't think he was talking like that when he told him to. <laughs> no. He got hit where it hurts, and bless his heart. You know, I'm glad that's all it was, but that was it for him for the night. He's like, I'm out of here, coach. You, you put Nate in there, let Nate. You know, because Brady hadn't been hit much. If you think about it, it's been yeah. a while since he's been sacked. You know, he had all yeah. time in the world against McKinney. He had all time world last week against Princeton. Um, and it's a different thing. When he's hammered down and running, that's a different thing than, than yeah. being chased and – Smash. Might have affected him a little bit. I have no idea what that noise is. Yeah, Billy Jean. Billy Jean. God. Where that did that come from? I don't know. But it was great. She was the principal? Is that what it was? Something to that fact. I don't know. It yeah, came something. out of nowhere. Yeah. It's like he, he'd been doing good all night. Or that that wasn't, but that was the uh, band announcer. Yeah. That wasn't the yeah, PA right. announcer. I was <laughs> just like, what in the world? Band announcers get away with all sorts of stuff. Yeah, really. Uh, 26 first downs for Allen, 11 for Plano West. Plano West only totals 244 yards of total offense. Um, Mackay Ellis, back in the lineup. Man. Back in the what? lineup, and, and apparently kind of itching to, to, like, tumble make a, make and a roll. and yeah. Made yeah. a statement. Oh, he made a statement on his head for his second <laughs> run out. <laughs> Wish I had that on video, but we don't. Mackay, we love you, dude. We, we've always, you know... Had a good relationship with Mackay. But, dude, I about lost it. Got to strap that helmet on, son. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, when, when the team comes out of the tunnel, Mackay leads them, and he does a backflip. Yeah. Start of the game, he comes out, he does his backflip, off they go. Second half comes. <laughs> runs out. He runs out. He puts his hands down to do his flip, and his helmet comes off. <laughs> I don't know if he didn't strap it on or what. And it just made everything go. <laughs> and he was mortified, so he just laid down like this. Uh, and then everybody kind of 
<laughs> gets around him and lifts him I up. I was and... dying laughing. I was like, dude. That's hilarious. That was pretty funny. James <laughs> not, wasn't videoing at the time, so we don't have it. Maybe somebody else does. Somebody else has got to have I it. I was rolling. Yeah. I was like, yeah. Well, we know he's back. Oh, uh, RJ or one of the other video guys, hopefully they've got it. Oh, but, uh, that was so funny. Yeah, Bless his heart. Good. So, we know you're back. <laughs> but he, he had some fantastic runs and, and, you know, touchdown. and Got that screen pass. Uh, for, two touchdowns, actually. Yeah, yeah, he had a rushing touchdown. He had a, We'll talk about it. He had a long 73-yard screen pass for a touchdown. And just the, the just burst. Some killer runs, some, some killer moves. People were leaving their shoes on the, you know, on the turf and... <laughs> Broken ankles. Yeah, there's there's a lot. Again, for for to me, which was a boring game for a while, there was a lot of individual plays that you look at and mm-hmm. go, "There's kids out there that can really play ball, and they know what they're doing." Um, it's it's impressive to to see that. So how, how scary for that uh, those Prosper coaches to be up there in the stands last night or in the press box watching our running backs run all over the place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that well, running back room. It's going to come down. I mean, the, our offensive line just did so well last night, and you know it's hard to tell how much that was because uh, you know of a weak uh, pass rush, but but they were on. And you know, anytime your quarterback has that much time, mm-hmm. he's going yeah. to light things up. It's still execution, any way you look at it. So. Yeah, true, yeah. very true. Oh, which 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 will be what happens <laughs> next week? It comes down exactly. to execution. Which team is going to execute better? You know, uh, I, th- I think. Prosper's been getting a lot of love. I think those guys will be ready. And the defenses were, uh, you know, Prosper's defense. They played McKinney last night, and it was a knockdown drag out for, for three quarters, and, and Prosper just kind of started to pull away in that fourth quarter. And, and they did. Took them out. A lot of turnovers, though, I heard. There were. Both teams had a lot. McKinney had two late turnovers that killed them. It's time to call coach here. Yeah. Now that the dogs are in here. Where are we going to call him? Call him friend. Hope he answers. I didn't get with him this week. Hello. He did hey. answer. Hey, hey, coach. <laughs> How are y'all? <laughs> we're, we're pretty happy. Good. We hope you are. Do what? I'm sorry. We <laughs> hope you're happy. Yes, sir. I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. We did. We did not talk last week, so we've got, you know. Two weeks of, of pretty impressive football to talk about, at least from our viewpoint. Yeah. You know, congratulations how, how, on two district how wins. Was, how was the weekend? Uh, I, that's a whole conversation that'll last an hour, but it was great. I'll just let you know <laughs> that. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. We'll talk about that. Um, let's, let's stop. We'll start real quick with the Princeton game, and I know that. That we're not going to talk a lot about it, but just your overall thoughts on how everybody performed. Um, I, I thought uh, I thought it was a good game. You know, I thought that um, you know they do some things you know decent in the passing game. Uh, I thought we defended that excuse me well, and um, defensively uh, against us, you know they. Um, I mean, they didn't put up a lot of opposition, just to be honest, you know, so yeah. um, I thought we executed well and um, took advantage of the opportunities we had. Um, overall, I thought it was, a, you know, a clean game, but you know, the team did about what they should have done against them. Yeah, which is kind of our thought. The you know, We were talking about what our expectations were for these two weeks, and it, it kind of fell right in line um, yeah. with what you kind of expected would happen. Yeah, um, we've got to, you know, uh, and, you know, yeah, yes, certainly things that we've got to, you know, continue to improve significantly that you would have hoped would have been better against t- opponents like that. But, yes, I think uh, <laughs> pleased overall with how we played. Awesome. We have a question that we didn't get answered this week. Was was Ethan's field goal a school record? Oh, I have no idea. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I know it went we th- through the uprights. Yeah, we think we think it was. We think it was, and it was it was pretty uh, pretty impressive. But uh, yeah, yeah, that was that was a lot of fun. Thanks for letting him do that. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and we we had talked about it earlier that it was just a good opportunity for you and the rest of the coaches to know you know what his range actually was. Um, right. I know you get yeah. to do it in practice, but it's always different in a game situation. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. That yeah, was definitely a big kick. Yeah. <laughs> we we love seeing the celebration too. Yeah, no, that was fun. 
<laughs> we also got a kick out of the fact that you were in mid-season forms with the refs again. That's good to see. <laughs> Yeah, that was a, a week ago. I really don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now, now, now you're an NFL um, head coach okay, uh, for him right Okay, now. Pinocchio. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's talk about last night's game. And, again, it, it, it kind of followed suit as, as we expected it would. We, You know, you don't have time to settle down because you turn around and you have two-play, three-play, four-play touchdown drives. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, as, as we looked at, at that team, you know, prepared for them, um, they really, really struggled offensively. You know, they haven't really moved the ball um, against anyone um, all year. What you saw defensively, <laughs> defensively, however, is that they were they were showing signs of improvement every week, you know. So um, that game was a little more surprising, not overly, but more surprising to me um, than the previous one because um, they have – they have been, you know, showing resistance in games, um, and I thought we came out and, and executed really clean early on. So, um, so that was that was pleasing. <laughs> um, but you know, again, I, I think overall, um, you know, we did what we what we needed to do and what we should have done in those games. We hadn't we hadn't talked about this yet. We we just started here, but there's there's a couple of things that have, when you look back on the season so far, you know the it it seems like one you've been for the most part pretty injury free, and secondly it seems like the penalty numbers are are down um, over last year pretty significantly, and and you know th- those two things add a lot to help be successful. Absolutely, yeah. You know the injury. You know you can only um, you know, hope that you're doing things, you know, in, in terms of strength and conditioning, in terms of, you know, recovery and, and all that. Um, but then a lot of that just comes down to, to luck. Um, mm-hmm. And then the, you know, the, the penalties, you know, I think that, um, again, you know, that's, that's, we're not doing anything differently this year. You know, that's always, a, you know, our focus and execution and technique or um, the premium in every practice we've ever had. And, um, maybe they're just calling fewer, or maybe they're seeing less, or maybe you know we're not being put in the scenario <laughs> <laughs> scenarios that those are occurring, or, or maybe we're just maturing as a football team. I don't know, but, um, but yeah, you know those those coupled with turnovers um, are always going to be um, deciding factors in the really close games. Yep. Well, the the week has arrived that I think all Allen Eagle fans circled at the beginning of the year. Yep. And. It's it's Prosper Week. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know you went and saw them a couple of weeks ago. They 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 struggled at times last night with McKinney. And, and well, McKinney's defense is is really good. Yeah. I mean, I know you know you, you can look at our game against them and you'll say, well, we scored whatever thirty something points, but uh, but they're really good. They they're not very good on offense. Yeah. Um, you know, they just I think. As a general statement, they don't play hard every snap on offense. Um, but defensively, again, you know, we said going into that game, you know, they have they have the best player um, not close in the district, um, maybe the top two or three. Um, and, you know, so they're 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 going to be a tough out for somebody in the playoffs as well, um, just because you're going to have to find a way to move the ball consistently against them. Um, so, you know. <laughs> it doesn't overly shock me that they, you know, were in a close game with Prosper. Um, you know, I think it was what someone was telling me. It was, you know, 22-17 <laughs> real late. And then Prosper or uh, McKinney it had it failed on a fourth and one. And then Prosper punched one more in right there at the end of the game. Yep, um, yep. I think it was under five minutes or so when it got to, you know, <laughs> 22-17 even. But, um, yeah. But Prosper, you know, we've, um, again, seen them live. They're, I do think they're um, a more complete team than they were last year. You know, I think there's, excuse me, some positions they would say they're they're probably not quite as good. Um, I think there's, there's some that they're definitely better. And I think they're executing, you know, uh, on both sides at a, at a really high level. Um, they're... They're mixing their run and pass really well. Quarterbacks making great decisions. 
Um, and then, you know, I think their D-line is, um, is really, really, really good. And what they do schematically is so tough to go against. Yeah. Um, so. Well, it's, it's, it's been a couple of years since Allen has, has, has beaten Prosper. So yeah. Yeah. I think it's about time. No, it's about time for sure. It is. You know, yeah, you know, make that happen. Yeah, if you get it, you get them at home. <laughs> it's it's chilly night at the tailgate, which is always a, a victory night. So yeah. you know things. Yeah, are, no kidding. Things are aligning here, brother. Things are yeah. aligning. Yeah, they are. They are indeed. Yeah, yeah the, boo ball. Uh, yeah, well, and, and, and unlike unlike a McKinney, uh, Allen has got so much on offense that that you know if we can break that out and get things kind of flowing a little bit, there's going to be a lot of scoring. So. That's a good possibility. Yeah, you know, I think both offenses have scored a bunch this year. That I don't think that'll happen Friday night. You know, no. I don't, I don't think that we're going to see anyone in the 30s in this game. I think okay. it's going to be, um, I think it's, you know, it's going to come down to the team that, that, you know, not necessarily, you know, hopefully put drives together to finish in the end zone, but more, more so the one that just can keep some drives alive mm. um, and flip the field position. Um, you know, I think that not like you know. I know last night it ended up twenty-seven, whatever, nineteen with Prosper. But I think a team gets to twenty-eight in this game, they're going to feel really, really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just because you know both defenses are going to, um, they're going to make it really tough on the other teams. I think. Um, yeah. Um, well, and the good defense is going to is going to possibly cause your offensive line to to jump a little bit more and maybe have more penalties and. It's a whole yeah, different I hope, game. I, I hope not. I'll be shocked if that. I'll be not shocked. <laughs> I'll be very disappointed if that happens. Now, oh, well, very true. But, and and that's what I was kind of observing is yeah, that the, yeah. the discipline play is it's gotten better from last year to this year. Yeah. I, I think there's but they're going to what they. I mean, it's just you know. I mean, there's going to be some guys, more guys free than in other games. There's going to be more guys behind the line of scrimmage. You know, you're going to have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're certainly going to face. You know, significantly more third downs than you've been facing. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know, get tackled for loss, um, which are things that haven't been happening. You know, those things are all gonna happen in yeah. this game. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and it's, you know, when you've gone a few games without facing that, you know, that's that's always, you know, a question. You know, how are you gonna handle that? You know, how are you gonna convert meaningful third downs? How are you gonna get back within the chains? Um, how are you gonna handle adversity? I mean, you've punted whatever four times on the year or whatever it is how are you going to handle punting five times in a game you know so so how are, how are things that you know that that haven't happened um how are they going to handle or how are they going to affect the the demeanor on the sideline the the learning that goes on on the bench the the way you carry that back on the field for the next series you know how, how are all those things going to play out so um that's what to me makes a game against a very quality opponent, um, highly enjoyable. Well, we're sure looking forward to it. It's it's going to be good. Yeah, us too. I mean, it's um, yeah, going to be a great week, and um, I know the kids will be um, overly um, fired up uh, about <laughs> it. And, um, can't wait. No, it'll be a huge crowd. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a blast. Yeah, break will be over, and and hopefully all our student yeah, section will be back and. Yeah, back to be a the sense of normalcy there will be good. Yeah, yeah, we we might even show up. You know, this one might yeah. might garnish, <laughs> garnish <laughs> Yeah, I, I would imagine that uh, I could find you guys exactly. <laughs> you know where we'll be. Two o'clock, sir. Both before, during, and after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, we appreciate your insight on that. We're we're looking forward to this one, and it should be fun come Friday night. It will be. Uh, to the picks, you went two and three last week, but don't but don't feel bad because the winner of the week was only three and two. So <laughs> it was okay. it was a tough week. On there was some very close games last week that, that messed everybody up. Um, Chris Cumnock leads you by one game. Oh, and he leads me by two games. And Hargis is pulling up the rear, so we're not going to worry about him. So. <laughs> yeah. He keeps telling me that he's he's making these picks, trying to make up stuff, but it's killing him. So it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Good games this week. First one: Alabama at Tennessee. Mm, that is going to be a good game. Yep. Uh, uh, Tennessee's really. Yeah, I'll take Alabama though. All right. Yeah. Right. Michigan at Illinois. Yeah, boy, that that sounds like that shouldn't be a good game. Um, 
But Illinois is actually very, pretty good this year. Yeah, I know, and I love and it's at you know, Illinois. I, I, yeah. I can't remember who I saw them play a little bit against earlier, but I really remember thinking I like the way they're playing ball, and uh, um, I feel like that. I mean, Michigan just has to win that game, though. Um, <laughs> yeah, gosh, I mean, I, yeah. Um, Flip a coin. Yeah. Well, this is uh, yeah, this is. You want me? One, you want me to tell you who Hargis picked? <laughs> no, no, I don't want to hear that. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to take um, Illinois, and I feel like that's a dumb pick, but I'm going with it. <laughs> okay, LSU travels to Arkansas. Arkansas with the upset of Tennessee. Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking LSU. I do think it'll be a good game, and I think that Arkansas could win it, but. I like LSU. All right, here's an interesting game. We all saw Oklahoma last week, and we, we all know they are offensively challenged. There's, there's no question. At best. Yeah. South Carolina has two losses this year, both of them one in overtime and one – they lost to Bama at one point last week, mm-hmm. and they lost yeah. in overtime to LSU. So South Carolina is at Oklahoma. At Oklahoma. <laughs> Man, this is a really big. I mean, a huge, for the to me the biggest game that you mentioned, just because you're talking about two teams that, I mean, mm-hmm. one that I mean is in a really bad spot if they lose, yep. like in a lot of ways. Yep. Um, man, it's at OU. Yep. <sighs> so South Carolina's only lost two. You said, and yeah. that was Bama and LSU. LSU by a total of four points. But OU's defense is really, really good. Um, I wish I knew something about about uh, South Carolina. Like, are they a defensive team? Are they playing good offense? Or how are they hanging in games? I don't. Where's my phone? Oh, we, we can just pick it for you if you want us to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't I have will, that info in front of me, Coach. I'm sorry. I will go. Golly, I think this is another bad one. I'm going with OU. All right. Well, if it's a bad one, you and I are going down together. I did. I picked OU as well. Yeah. Okay. I don't know how or why, but I did. Yeah, I know. I, I just feel like OU's defense, I mean, they've got to right the ship. They have to, or or uh, and it's probably in for a long fall. Yep. Yeah. All right. Game of the week down in Austin, Georgia at Texas. Yeah, I, you know, I think that, I mean, Texas is clearly the better team, and I think they've, <laughs> not that not that this is the same, <laughs> same discussion as the last one, but that would be a really big win for Georgia and big loss for Texas. Um, but I do think both of them are going to meet again later at some point, but yeah. I think Texas will win at home. That's a pretty really, uh, uh, yeah, not, not become, just to become a fan, but that's a really good team he's got down there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, and I think, I think, I feel like on social media or somewhere, I heard Kirby Smart saying, you know, that the most talented team he's seen, most complete team he's seen in years. Yeah, I saw that last night, too. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I saw a stat this week that kind of floored me, and I didn't realize. They'd only given up three touchdowns all year long. Unbelievable. Isn't that wild? Six games, three touchdowns. And so, you know, and I, I haven't, you know. You, you, I don't know. I'm not that I'm following all these games, but I haven't heard a lot about that. Like no. I ha- I'm not hearing Texas's defense. You know, just to shut down that defense. way. That's crazy. Number one in the country in, in about seven of ten stats. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So it's pretty impressive. Yeah. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Well, we appreciate your time. Um, <laughs> what about them? Who they're after? Yeah. Are y'all up there today, Coach? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to bring magnets by here in a little bit. Okay. Yep. Yeah, also. For the, yeah. for players the, of the game. Players of the game. Yeah. Okay. Which, just awesome. so you know, ours were uh, Makai on offense. Oh, good. We're going to give. Uh, we're going to spread it around on D. Wafer had a great first half, too. Y'all pulled him. I wanted him to get like 30 tackles because he was <laughs> everywhere. Uh, and then we're going to give the interception guys, Major Miller and Nate Foster. And then special teams is always hard because. <laughs> you know, but we're going to give it to Isaac for his kickoff return this, this week. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. So, good choices. That's bad. So we yeah. will see you Friday. Um, looking forward to it. Come by and get a bowl of chili. We'll have it ready. And um, I look forward to it. Thank right. you. And y'all have a great week and see y'all in a bit. Feel better, Coach. I know. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye. Goodbye.
There he goes, Coach Wig. Okay, two things. One, the chili will knock that cough right out of him. Oh <laughs> we should have told him that. <laughs> yeah. and second, that's total gamesmanship. He's going to have them thinking all week, oh, maybe he's sick, maybe somebody else is going to be there calling the game. He's he's not, he's not well, sick. Well, I noticed when he spoke to the old coach this week, he was coughing and stuff, yeah. too, and he was sick two weeks ago. He yeah, was. He was. He, he's Can been get carrying rid of that it. for a couple of weeks, so. Maybe he's got an RSV or something. The life of a football coach. I know. Well, Doesn't have time to get well. No, no rest. Football well, has had yeah. to see the last two weeks is so disgusting. He's yeah. just get to feeling better, coach. Don't <laughs> yeah. don't don't burn yourself out there. Well, we're not going to go through all of this this week because it was just ugly. But you know, we we have. I'll just the touchdowns. You know. Yeah, we can do, we can just cover that because we got nine of them. So yeah. you know, it's, wow. it's, the first one was a four play drive, capped off by a thirty yard. Josiah Johnson touchdown. Yeah, pass, one. nice. Um, he made a, a couple moves there, which he were did. beautiful. Yeah. Second one was a two-play drive. We started talking, okay, we're back to the Kyler Murray years. We started yeah. saying, okay, how many plays how many is going to take to yeah. score? Uh, with a long pass to yeah. Don LG. 38-yard TD pass, which, which was nice. a thing of beauty. Oh, yeah. We talked about oh. that. Bricker, he, he led him to yeah. go get the ball. Trying to put it where he was. Let him go over and get the ball. David's ready to side suit side. up. Hook right, him. let's go. Heck yeah. <laughs> um, what a great pass by Brady. He had a really good night last night. Um, Makai had his. Uh, Welcome back, Makai. 14 yard run. You know, we've talked about how he looked fast, he looked strong, he looked hungry, determined. Hungry, hungry. He was hungry. He gets a 14 yard touchdown run to make it 21 to nothing. The next series is Linden. You know, eight plays. Yeah. Linden did good too. Linden had a good oh, yeah. night. 14 yard touchdown run. Oh, wow. Wide open. Gone. Uh, West gets a touchdown on a, a blown coverage um, in the. the and that was, a that was a beautiful pass late yeah. in there too, but yeah. hey. Yeah. But. But the blown blind, coverage guy, blind squirrel. he 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 heard about it. We heard about it. <laughs> yeah. Because it was so quiet in that stadium. Like, you could hear everything. Yeah, yeah Mr. Hargis had a really good time. Uh, <laughs> uh, the next series, here we go again. <laughs> Four plays. Up. Yeah. Um, again, well, anything short. Yeah. Jaden Hambrick, who runs so stinking hard, uh, gets a touchdown to make it 35-7. Get in there. Get in there. Um, and then just before the half, our play of the game. It, it, it looked like an absolute duplicate. Yeah. Uh, just a 53-yard you know, uh, bomb or 55-yard Hail Mary. Bricker flicker. Oh, the bricker flicker. The bricker flicker. <laughs> he pulled it number two. And, and when I sent the tweet out with that play, it was like they're, they're going to make they're going to make the Hail Mary just seem like a normal pass play. I meant to say that to Coach. I was like, well, you know if you need a Hail Mary, you got the play down. You yeah. Know, because yeah. – Twice, and Carter <laughs> Harris has just got you know chameleon hands. Extension, down there. extension, extension. We and got it was, a little slow mo on there too, but yeah. I did. didn't notice it last night, but when I saw your your video this morning, he was the only Allen player down there. Yeah. It was him and five defensive backs. And it's all position. He was in front, and he just backed them all back. Yep. It's like he was boxing them out and trying to get a rebound yeah. or something. It was a thing of beauty. Though.
He grabbed it. And One second left, boom. Allen scores. It's funny because Angie Bricker comes up at halftime. I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean you missed it? She's eyes down. down the guy. She goes, there was just a few seconds left. Nothing was going to happen. I was like. <laughs> so James showed it to her. So yeah. She, yeah. Mom got I said, here, it. here. Yeah. Uh, That's pretty cool. That's the end of the quarter. Uh, Plano West scores on another long pass. Um, and then uh, Allen punted for the only time last night. You know, punter punter four, needs love, 14 too. 14-yard punt. Punter needs know. to practice. Yeah. Like, like punter coach, gets love when punter practices and hits long punts, yeah. Right, punter only punted, what do you say, four or five times all year. <laughs> HT, baby. It's all about the hang time. That's Come right. Um, next Allen series, they go seven plays, 67 yards. Who scored on that one? I don't have that. No, that was Brett Holloway. 22-yard TD run. about that running back room now and they don't use Brett as a running back but he runs the ball a lot or the does wildcat pass. Yeah, yeah. you know you start with Mackay you've got Spriggs you've got Hambrick you've got Holloway it's a lot of options back, like a law firm well, back there a yeah. law firm man Hambrick hit, hit some people hard last night too. Hambrick ain't scared of nobody no he said, I'm coming right through you yeah it makes it 49-14 and then uh, Nate, Nate's uh, in at this point, and they throw a screen pass to Mackay. Yep. And 78 yards, rumbling, stumbling. You, you just see it coming. the TD. You know, um, when, and I think they blitzed on that play, too. They had a bunch did. of people in the backfield. It was a thing of beauty. It was a perfect yeah. lob pass over. Yep. Yep. And he goes 73. Put some back. more moves on. Yeah. Scores make it 56. Um, After that, you had Nate Foster's uh, uh, interception. 34 yard return down yeah. to the 16. Hambrick goes in from 16, makes it 63. That is your final. So, and I did guess sixty-two to seventeen. So I can't close. And we had four quarterbacks play last night. All four quarterbacks yeah. on the roster play. Yeah. You know, good, good for yeah. you know. And I'm sure all. I don't know how many players played. But There's quite a few. Yeah. This is two weeks in a row. A lot. You've had the chance to generate some depth. Um, and again, prosper this week. So here we go. Around the district yeah. last night. Prosper did beat McKinney 29-17. Plano beat yeah. McKinney Boyd 42-35. Oh, poor McKinney Boyd. Plano East comes back from a 14-7 deficit and beats Prosper Rock Hill 21-14. So your four playoff teams, if it happened today, would be Allen, Prosper, McKinney, and East. I'm not sure that's going to change much as the season rolls around unless there's some upsets. Yeah, I mean, I think the top three are set for sure, I, I yeah. just feel. I'm pretty sure, that, but because we are what now? We're seven and zero, oh, so we're five and zero oh in district. Pretty much, I think they clinched last night. A playoff spot would be hard, and it's it's hard to tell. You know that sometimes people say, "Oh, that fourth place team is is nothing," but I think I remember uh, what we were going to state, and Plano West was that fourth place team in the district, and they had a long run. They went they like four rounds deep. Yep. Ended up beating poor Lufkin, and, and they left all their swag and stuff in the stadium because Lufkin was just so disappointed. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, <laughs> down at uh, got, yeah. Waco ISD Stadium. And yeah. there was just stuff everywhere. Yeah, it was a mess. 
Uh, over in District 5-6A, which is now time to really start paying attention to. Yes, sir. Uh, the big game of the night, Coppell at Louisville, was competitive for a while. Um, and then Coppell kind of pulled away. They did. They beat <laughs> Louisville 55-28, to uh, which probably seals Louisville as our, our first, round, first round opponent. Yeah, unless and, something weird happens. And if we beat Prosper, then we've got home field advantage uh, for the first round of the playoffs. Yep. So let's hope that they do that. Coppell is uh, what seven and zero overall. Yep. Um, Louisville is four and three overall. So it was interesting. I was showing Cody this morning that the Nelson Morning News has the state ranked teams in every classification. Mm -hmm. Not a single one of them in the top ten lost last night in any classification. Nice. Which mm. is unheard of. Yeah. So, um, and and nobody other than Atascacita. In the top ten and six, they really had a a, a close call. Tascasita wins by one um, wow. to remain undefeated, but everybody else just just kind of ran away with it. Did they play? They Tascacita? played Kingwood. Okay. Um, Don't know much about Kingwood. Interesting for score, sure. you know this this Summer Creek School, which everybody's been kind of raving about down there, and they did lose to a Tascasita. Um, they beat Goose Creek eighty-one to six. Hmm. <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah. Wow. We'd have had 80 last week if we hadn't missed two extra points, you know? It's crazy. Well, that wraps it up for this week, people. Um, oh, I got trivia. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. I got trivia. All right. We've seen him this year. Here's your hint. We've seen him this year in okay. person. Who was the first high school quarterback in Texas to throw for more than 3,000 yards? Kyler Murray. We've, <laughs> we've seen them in person this football season. We, we have seen them. We have seen this person. All of us? Uh, I can't answer that without <laughs> giving too much of a hint. <laughs> we've seen him in person. Well, yeah. all we've been to is Allen games. Yeah. No. No. Melissa Lovejoy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There wasn't one of them. Oh, Todd Dodge. I died. <laughs> yeah. He said that, and I was like, yeah. He was the first one, huh? First one to throw for more than 3,000 yards. He was at Port Arthur Memorial, right? Wow. Something like that. Yeah, he was Damn. a Port Arthur kid. Went to Texas. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they've got it figured out over there now. They have, they lost their first couple games, but he hadn't lost since, and it hadn't been that close. The Melissa game kind of, but they, they ran over everybody last night, too. Yeah. He's... He's got things rolling over at Lovejoy. Which, you know, that, that team reminds me a lot of Holland Park. They Lovejoy? Have, yeah, they don't have a whole bunch of big guys, but there's a lot of talent there. Yeah. A lot of efficiency. You yeah. get the yeah. best out, yeah. of, uh, out of some. And they yeah. drop back down to 5A, too. Yeah. yeah they don't uh, how many kids did they kick out of school to do that? <laughs> Dude, we're having a we're having an enrollment shortage. We're shutting down grade schools, and, and yeah. it's all the old retired people that still live out here. <laughs> oh, that'd be you, sir. What? Yeah, <laughs> you. All right, Friday night, seven o'clock, Eagle Stadium. It's Allen and Prosper for the. I'm just going to call a it district championship. The district championship. Yeah. I'm just going to call it right here, right now. Home field advantage for the playoffs. There's a lot of stuff riding on that game. It is chilly night. It's Reputation. Boo -boo. Oh my gosh! Chilly Kids, night. come on by. We've got candy for you. Boo. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Bring your kids by. Trick or treat. Yeah, we'll trunk or treat. Trunk or treat. Stay away from Nolan's treat. trunk. Yeah. <laughs> it is treats. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nolan, we miss you, brother. So we missed what, you last night. Is he thrifting with the wife? What's he no, doing? He's it's it's his daughter's birthday and he cooks her hey. birthday. He cooks her breakfast. So he, oh, he's no. doing Happy that birthday, for, Kaylee. Yeah. We loved seeing you last night. We we did a long distance wave from the top of the stands and we she did. saw us, yeah. so that that was nice. Yeah. That was good. She's the head cheerleading coach for Plano West, so that was uh, yep. nice to see her over there. Hello, big chunk. Doing the Lord's work over in over in the rich side of the city. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anything else, fellas? No, hook them. That's all I can that. say. Absolutely, yeah. hook them. Hook them. Big game tonight. Down. Get your guns up, Raiders. Let's go. Yeah. Are you showing everybody your face? Oh, I'm a dog. <laughs> everybody, this is Riley. Riley, say hello. Hi, Riley. Say hello. No, okay. <laughs> um, Justin, thanks for sitting in. Yes, thank Appreciate you, so you having you. Today. You got to experience our our breakfast meetings. <laughs> Goofiness, shilliness. Alicia, thanks for having a good morning with us. Yes. That was fun. So um, until next week, people will. Uh, 
we'll look forward to Friday night and we'll talk about it next Saturday. So yeah. until then, it's over and we are out. Ow.